Okay, so how did you get into Notre Dame then? Um, did you get a scholarship or anything like that? Yeah, I actually got. I actually started off my freshman year at Urbana University, and um, I gave. This is another crazy story. I gave them wrong SAT scores so I could make the team. Oh shit! And I didn't. Th- yeah, I didn't think that they would find out for some reason in my head. But I still want. I wanted to go to school and do the sport. So I lied about my SAT scores, which is stupid. So if you're watching this, don't do that. You get caught. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, so they kicked me out, and I was, again, back in Baltimore, and I was like, damn, what am I going to do? And then eventually Notre Dame hit me up and offered me a full ride, and I was like, oh, yeah, I'm taking that. And then I went there. I never competed there as a wrestler, but I trained with some of the best wrestlers all over the place, Jared Campbell, Jose Rodriguez. I met – a lot of fighters there. That's actually how I even figured out what MMA was. I was going through there and Jessica, I, and a whole bunch of different fighters would be coming in there to train and I'm peeking my head in like, what, what are they doing? Okay. And then eventually, yeah, eventually I started like watching the practices and I would Google all types of crazy stuff and then start figuring out what, um, what MMA even was. So Jessica and I and all them, they go to Notre Dame and, and get some practices in with the wrestling team. Yeah. They would come in there and stop in after practice and, um, train with some of our best wrestlers on the team and stuff and i would uh sit in there and watch out in the corner and see what they're doing and i would see like wrestlers can actually go pretty far in this yeah. and i'm like oh yeah i'm definitely about to jump into a wave like that okay <laughs> and how'd you do in high school by the way because you got a full ride which for those who that don't know you don't really get a full ride in wrestling you usually get a full ride in like uh football because i spoke to pat downey one time and he told me that like they don't they don't put the funds towards wrestling. That's why all the people get full rides to like football and stuff. General, I wasn't a huge wrestling recruit. I was a couple of time undefeated state champ, but I never did anything nationally to kind of like earn that you know D one full ride. And uh, my dad made it very clear that like I had to pay for college my own way, just mm-hmm. as he did. So it was like I got to earn this scholarship, and I did. I earned full rides, and I still found a way to take on a bunch of college debt. But yeah. The point is I was looking at football because I don't know if you're familiar with the uh, NCAA rules and Title IX and the scholarships. All football scholarships are automatically full rides. Oh, wow. Very, very rare to get them in wrestling because they got to allocate a certain amount of funds throughout all the weight classes. So full rides are not as common in wrestling. Yeah. You're basically a blue chip top recruit to to get it. And um, I mean, I was able to uh, – Earn, earn some full rides with wrestling. Went to Olympic Training Center, you know. Yeah. The, uh, Iowa State, Iowa, you know, Iowa Central. Went to four colleges, but that's the name of the game. It's a business, you know. I was going to go wherever I was eligible, wherever I could get paid, wherever I could uh, continue my education. So I had I started my junior year. Actually, it was pretty crazy that I even got a scholarship for wrestling from any school. Yeah. But I started my junior year, and then I won a, a national tournament my second year of wrestling ever. Okay. And. Uh, I actually pinned out in it. I was my first state placer in like 16 years at my high school. Oh, um, Maryland wrestling isn't, yeah, at Mar- Maryland wrestling isn't that good at all. Like we got, we got a couple of good guys that come out of nowhere, like Aaron Brooks, Kyle Snyder. Yeah. But like, it's like one every couple of years that are actually like talented and take it on to the next level and go do big things with it. But um, I went, I went like 94 and like eight or something like that okay. throughout them two years. And, um, yeah, it was actually pretty shocking that I got a full ride. I was very surprised I did it. But Notre Dame, their biggest sport was wrestling. Um, I think they were ranked number one in Division Two when I got signed to them. Yeah, they do have a good and, team. Uh, yeah, they, they took really good care of me while I was there. Coach Sonny Marchetti was the coach at the time. Okay. And uh, he, he took a lot of time, like, outside the room to show me stuff and everything. I actually made a post about this actually after I got signed to the UFC, like, when uh, COVID and everything was happening, he was actually sneaking down to the wrestling room with me mm. and training and bringing me food to eat while I was there and stuff like that because I didn't have no money. I was a broke college kid. And, um, yeah, I, I still remember all them little things like that. So I, I try to give everybody a shine for what they did when I was, uh, wasn't was as big as I am now. Okay, gotcha. And so how did you get the full ride? Did you, like, reach out to them or they reached out to you? Uh, I actually got a DM from one of the assistant coaches when they offered, when they said, hey, we want you. And then we went over everything. And then I realized with uh, the grants and the scholarships and everything, I was like, yeah, this is, I ain't paying nothing. I get all my books free, dorm Damn. free. I get the free food pass. Yeah. I was like, oh yeah, I'm happy. <laughs> and I gained like, and the freshman 15 is 100% real. Cause like I gained like 20 pounds. Oh really? <laughs> <Shit>. <laughs> yeah. Did you have to shed that eventually? 
Or you didn't really Yeah, know. so uh, they at towards the end when I was finally uh, – I was trying to get off my red shirt and I was finally about to compete, I got down to 97, and that was the lowest I've been. It was an unhealthy night. So I wasn't ripped up or nothing. Yeah. Like, I didn't know how to cut weight or nothing at all. But I was staying around, like, 205, 97, getting ready to wrestle at 97. And uh, right when I got cleared from being a red shirt, COVID happened, and they kicked everybody out. Mm, gotcha. Okay, so – your father passed away and then COVID happened and he like got kicked out of school. So it's kind of like this wave of things that happened. So I, I, me and my dad got in arguments and stuff like that before college, when I started wrestling, okay. my dad actually passed away uh, at the beginning of my professional career. Okay. Uh, my mom passed away at the beginning of my amateur career. So my mom passed away 2021 and my dad passed away 2022. Okay. So at least you like, it wasn't all because you said that you were homeless after college. So is that just because you're kind of arguing with your dad in that little period of time? Yeah, we were. I, I, I just didn't. I, I didn't. It was just hard to get it to him. Like what I'm trying to do, like stuff like that. It, it's really petty. It was stupid mm-hmm. that we're just both hotheads and we kept going at each other. Honestly, we're both Irish. So, you know, how it is. Gotcha. I was just trying <laughs> to make sense of like that whole little timeline.